Have you ever wondered what it takes to attract a masculine man? Have you reached a point where you're tired of attracting men who are not necessarily masculine? Well, in today's Lady Like Lessons, I will give you three bona fide ways of attracting a masculine man to you. I'm Nicole Michelle, femininity influencer for the Inner Beauty Movement, and here on Inner Beauty TV, we'll be discussing three things that a woman can do today to attract masculine men in her life. Thanks for joining me. The first one is very, very simple, and you can do this right now. Smile. You will be surprised at how many times masculine men complain about women not smiling, looking rough and tough, and just look like they're getting ready to brawl. Or sometimes they look preoccupied and they forget to smile. So the very first thing I want you to do is smile. Smile, smile, smile. Smile is saying your guard is lowered and you are welcoming masculine energy to me. And in a world where we have so many women trying to convince feminine women that masculine attention is bad any type of masculine attention is bad whether it's online whether it's in person at work any type of masculine attention is bad what our feminist society tells us to do is to reject all type of masculine attention and this is completely counterproductive to attracting masculine men to you because masculine men are looking for a signal from the woman that it's okay to approach her so if she subscribes to the feminist ideas that any type of attention from a man is bad then what she does is she walks around subconsciously thinking, I don't want to get approached. I don't want to get talked to. I don't want them to say anything to me. And guess what? They're not going to do any of that. They're not going to say hello. They're not going to ask to carry your groceries. They're not going to open the car door for you. They're not going to hold the door open to the store for you. There's no reason. You don't need them. By smiling, you're saying, I'm open. I'm feminine. I welcome all masculine energy to me. And quality masculine men appreciate a smile because that's his cue that he can show up and be present with her. When you don't smile, you show that the shop is closed, you don't want it, you're not open for business, and that's exactly what men see. And if you are trying to attract a masculine man, the last thing you wanna do is have a scowl on your face. You wanna look like it's okay to say hello to you. Two, this is a little bit difficult for a lot of American women, especially black women. And unfortunately, I hate to say it that way, but we have gotten to a point where we just basically dislike men. We basically dislike black men in particular, but you dislike men overall. The best way to attract a quality masculine man to you is basically liking men for just being men. You like that they like football because that gives you two hours to go crimp your hair, two hours to practice with your makeup, two hours to chit chat on the phone with your girlfriends, two hours to go focus on the children for a while, two hours to just drive around and look at dream houses. I don't know, what do you do in two hours? Get a spa treatment, whatever you do, it gives you time, it frees you up your time to do you. By allowing a man to do him, to be a man, you free up time to be a woman. And then when you come back together, ah, oh, the chemistry, the attraction, I miss you, I miss you too. And you appreciate the differences in each other. You can't appreciate the difference in me and now, how on earth will you be able to do that in a relationship? You have to like men. You have to like the fact that they like to be problem solvers. You have to like the fact that they're analytical. You have to like the fact that they don't operate out of their feelings like a woman. They're different and that's okay. That's why we like them. You have to like the fact that they like to build muscle mass so that they're strong, so they can pick up heavy things for you and build strong structures. And you have to like the fact that they're analytical because those analytical skills are great when they're building skyscrapers and when they're designing cars and when they're fixing 
global issues and when they're fixing just your personal problem for you, working simple things out for you that you find so just exasperating, a masculine man finds challenging. Just liking a man gives the energy that makes him go, ah, I can be myself with her. And that alone separates you from so many women out here who just do not like men. And if you are like this with a black man, he's really, really attracted to you because you he feels like you understand him. You could know you couldn't know him from a can of paint, but because you like men, it doesn't mean that you're sleeping around. It doesn't mean that they're the neighborhood chew toy. It means that you like men. You like their company. You like the jokes they tell. You like the way they talk. You like their deep voices. You like their height. You like the muscles. You like their smell. You like the way they dress. You like the way they sit. They talk. I can go on and on and on about the things that I love about men. I love the differences in men, and that energy is so attractive to masculine men. Ladies, a pleasant attitude will get you everything. Not sex, not a sexy body, not giving a man everything he asks for. A pleasant attitude will make a man drop everything he's doing just to make sure you're okay. And he doesn't have to know your name, he doesn't have to know you from a can of paint, but he sees you and you have a pleasant attitude and he sees that you need help and he's there for you. That pleasant attitude motivated him to help you because he saw in you a need and because your attitude was so pleasant he said I have to help her it's okay to help her because her attitude is so pleasant when you have a frustrated attitude an angry attitude people don't want to help you people don't want to break their schedules they don't want to rearrange anything to help you they don't want to be there for you they don't want to answer your phone calls your, your attitude is draining on their energy. It's just not a good look. And masculine men want pleasant women. They want happy women. They want women that he walks in the room and she lights up. She has a pleasant attitude. She's perky. <laughs> she's happy. She, she may not be happy, but she's not negative. Let me say that again. She may not be happy necessarily, but she's not negative. It's the negative energy that masculine men are repelled by. It, they hate negativity. It's one thing to uh, voice an opinion, voice a concern, uh, discuss issues, but just constantly negative, constantly unpleasant. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going with you. I assure you, it will repel men. And believe it or not, men can tell when a woman has an unpleasant attitude. Uh, she does not understand or she may not even get it on a subconscious level. She is emitting unpleasant vibes. He feels her energy is so unpleasant. She's very standoffish, she's very mean, and she could be the total opposite. It could just be something going on in her life at that moment. That's a missed opportunity to connect with a masculine man just in that moment. I know, it's you're, you're saying be perfect, Nicole, I can't be perfect. Absolutely, there are gonna be times where you just absolutely are just dealing with something at that moment. Just make sure it's not a habit. Just make sure that when you leave the house, you leave with a smile and a pleasant attitude because that attitude could attract your future masculine man to that. Having a pleasant attitude means that you're happy with yourself. You are owning your life. You're owning your own happiness. You're not looking to others to make you happy. Your attitude comes from you dealing with your own issues and saying, you know what? That's something I have to deal with. That's something I'm dealing with. I'm okay with me. And that energy is positive and people build off of that. But when you're unhappy with you, you give off an energy that's negative and draining to others around you. You're not owning anything and you're looking to the men in your life or people in your life to give to you, to give and give and give. And that's when you come off as needy and clingy. So you wanna have a pleasant attitude that says, I'm me, I'm happy with me, I'm owning me, I'm here and I'm pleasant, I'm present in the moment, I'm smiling, I like men, and my friend, things will open up for you. 
just having a pleasant attitude opens a lot of doors on your job, in your family, your friends, strangers, opportunities you didn't even see coming only because you have a pleasant attitude. So ladies, thank you for joining me for another Lady Like Lessons. Make sure you like and subscribe at the bottom. Click the bell for notifications on future lessons. If you have an idea for a lesson or you have a question or a concern, make sure you email me. All that information is in the description box. If you have a comment, I want to hear it. Give me some feedback. Let me know if there's an idea you want me to touch on in my videos. Please let me know. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.